بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والعاقبة للمتقين ولا عدوان إلا على الظالمين وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له ولي الصالحين وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله صلى الله عليه وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين أما بعد فإن شاء الله this, this afternoon would like to cover some of the aspects of the hereafter and this is, inshallah, will be in the scales of all of our good deeds to benefit, inshallah, in the house of Allah by mentioning some of the verses from the Quran and pondering over them and likewise mentioning the ahadith of the Messenger, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, regarding this great belief, which is from the beliefs of the six beliefs that each and every Muslim must have correctly understood and have with certainty. No doubt the first stepping stone towards the hereafter is the grave and each and every one of us will move on to the next stage which is the barzakh the barzakh where people will be preoccupied in their in that state there will not be a connection between them and the people in this world there are another state everyone must die as allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said kullu nafsin dha'iqatul maut every soul must taste death and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, وَجَاءَتْ سَكْرَةُ الْمَوْتِ بِالْحَقِّ ذَلِكَ مَا كُنْتَ مِنْهُ تَحِيدٍ And the agonies of death come with truth. That is what you were running away from. That, was, that is what you were turning away from. وَجَاءَتْ كُلُّ نَفْسِ مَعَا سَائِقٌ وَشَهِيدٌ لَقَدْ كُنْتَ فِي غَفْلَةٍ مِنْ هَذَا فَكَشَفْنَا عَنْكَ غِطَاءَكَ فَبَصَرُكَ الْيَوْمَ حَدِيدٌ Each and every soul would be brought forward by those witnesses, those angels who, you, who will bring them forward for their reckoning. And likewise, no one will be made, or no person, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will leave unjustly. Each and every one of us will get whatever they put forward of deeds. فَمَنْ يَعْمَلْ مِثْقَالَ ذَرَّةٍ خَيْرًا يَرَهُ وَمَنْ يَعْمَلْ مِثْقَالَ ذَرَّةٍ شَرًا يَرَهُ Whoever does an, a, 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 a smallest of an action of a deed will see it, and whoever does the smallest of action of a bad deed will see it. So everyone will get whatever they have put forward. As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, وَنَكْتُبُ مَا قَدَّمُوا We will write down all that they have put forward. وَآثَارَهُمْ And the reasons that they are causes of. Now this is a serious verse because it's not just what you have said and what you have done, but also the reasons that you are causes for. So if you're cause of chaos and corruption in the land, cause of havoc in the society, splitting and, devi- and deviation, then you are cause for a lot of wrong. If you're cause of splitting, and you're cause of much turmoil and much and spread of evil, fasha and munkar, then you are cause of much harm. So naktubu, wa naktubu, ma qaddamu wa atharahum. Wa atharahum, this is serious. So we must not just be careful what we say and do, but the consequences of what we say and do. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us and our families and our children from causing harm to ourselves and others. So each person must die, and everyone will taste death. And the Messenger sallallahu himself, when he spoke about death towards the end of his life, when he was going through hardship, he himself said, Inna lil maut. Sakarat. Indeed, death has agonies. And that is the message of Allah, sallallahu alayhi wa And he would sweat, and he would sigh, and he felt the difficulty of death that each and every one of us must go through. However, the believer, his soul will leave his body like the trickle of water. And he would ease. It's a blessing from Allah, subhanahu wa ta'ala. That is, as the soul leaves the body, for the disbelievers, Allah mentions in Surah Al-Nazi'at, وَالنَّازِعَاتِ غَرْقَ Nazi'at in some of the tafasir are referred to the angels. Those that snatch that the souls of the disbelievers out of their bodies. Shaykh Nuhtaymi Allah mentions in his tafsir. وَالنَّازِعَاتِ غَرْقَ غَرْقَ Alluding to how deep they go inside. And notice the word is swim. وَالسَّابِحَاتِ سَبْحَا يعني They swim inside the body looking for the soul to take the soul out. Because the disbelieving soul does not want to come out of the body. 
it wants to stay in this dunya, but they will be uh, they will come out by force. When naziati gharqa, when nashitati nashta, the angels they are nashitat, they are active in taking in fulfilling the commandments of Allah. وَيَفْعَلُونَ مَا يُؤْمَرُونَ They do that which they are commanded to do. وَالنَّازِعَاتِ غَرْقَى وَالنَّاشِطَاتِ نَشْطَى وَالسَّابِحَاتِ سَبْحَى فَالسَّابِقَاتِ سَبْقَى They rush to the commandments of Allah. The time has come for the ajal of this person to leave. To end. And for the soul to leave. إِذَا جَاءَ أَجَلُهُمْ لَا يَسْتَخِرُونَ السَّاعَةِ وَلَا يَسْتَقْدِمُونَ When their ajal comes, when their lifespan has ended, the ajal has come, it will not be delayed an hour, nor will it be preceded. And if the death comes on time, إِذَا جَاءَ أَجِلُهُمْ لَا يَسْتَأْخِرُونَ السَّاعَةِ وَلَا يَسْتَقْدِمُونَ And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also said, وَلِكُلِّ أُمَّةٍ أَجَلِ Every nation has an ajal, a lifespan. And each and every one of us, when we were in the womb of our mothers, the angel was commanded to write down four things. As, the, as in the hadith of Ibn Mas'ud رضي الله عنه حدثنا رسول الله عليه وسلم هو صادق المصدوق The Messenger صلى الله عليه وسلم He spoke to us and he is صادق and مصدوق He is truthful and entrusted Shaykh Ibn Uthaymi رحمه الله He is truthful amongst the people entrusted by Allah صادق المصدوق And he said that because what is to come is about the ilm al ghaib the knowledge of the unseen. Wa sadiq al masduq. Inna ahadakum yujma'u khalqu fi batni ummihi arbi'ina yawman nutfah. Thumma yakunu alaqatan mithla dalik. Thumma yakunu mudgatan mithla dalik. Thumma yursalu ilayhi malak. Fayu'maru bi katwi arbi'i kalimat. Indeed, one of you, his creation is brought in the womb of the mother the length of Forty days a sperm, then forty days a alaqa, which is something that clings. Uh, uh, sorry, alaqa, something that clings, a clot of blood that clings. Thumma mudra, then a chewed piece of flesh. Forty days, forty days, forty days. Hundred and twenty days. Then an angel is sent and commanded to write down four things. An angel is sent and blows the ruh, the spirit inside that fetus, and the person becomes alive. And is commanded, the angel is commanded to write four things. بِكَتْبِ رِزْقِهِ وَأَجَلِهِ وَعَمَلِهِ شَقِيُّنَ سعيد. To write down his risk, his provision, his sustenance for the dunya. Allah knows, and we do not know. His commanded to write down his actions what Allah knows of his actions Allah knows of course Allah knows all of his actions and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has commanded that this, this these actions are written upon this newly uh, this, this fetus that is about to be born and also to write down the the ajal the lifespan when they're going to die and likewise, whether they're going to be happy or sad. That is from the knowledge of Allah and the wisdom of Allah. No doubt you have a choice. And all of that is under the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So each and every have a choice. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, all his great wisdom, he, he wills whatever he wills. وَمَا تَشَاءُونَ إِلَّا يَشَاء Allah. Four things are written. And from that is your ajal, your lifespan when you're going to die. Each and every one of us, the time is already appointed. And the angels, when they come, they come on time and they take our soul. They take our souls away for the next stage, for the next barzakh, for the next level, the next life. And the angels, for the believers, they will descend, sending God tidings and salutations to them. From that is, they will say, لا تخافوا ولا تحزنوا for those who die upon Tawheed, and they die upon righteous deeds, and they are upon istiqama, uprightness. In the Ladina Kalu Rabbun Allah, the Mastakamu, the Tanazalu Alehim al Malaika to Allah Tahafu, Walla Tahzanu. Don't fear and don't be distressed. 
وَأَبْشِرُوا بِالْجَنَّةِ الَّتِي كُنْتُمْ تُوْعَدُونَ And glad tidings for you is paradise. That which you were commanded, that which you were promised. الَّتِي تُوْعَدُونَ الَّتِي كُنْتُمْ تُوْعَدُونَ نَحْنُ أَوْلِيَاءُكُمْ فِي الْحَيَةِ الدُّنْيَا وَفِي الْآخِرَةِ وَلَكُمْ فِيهَا مَا تَشْتَهِ أَنفُسُكُمْ وَلَكُمْ فِيهَا مَا تَدَّعُونَ You will have what your soul desires in paradise. The angels when they descend, not only do they say, don't fear and don't feel distressed, but they also promise them that they will be their guardians, just like they were guardians for them in the previous life, in the dunya, that they will be guardians for them, protecting them and aiding them, yani, in bringing them what is promised for them. And from that is the angels that will meet them at the gates of paradise, saying, Salamu alaykum, tibtum, fadkhuluha khalidun, enter it, Forever. This is God tidings again from the angels as the believers enter paradise. And likewise, there are many events thereafter. After death. Many events from that is the affairs of the grave. And we don't want to go too much into the affairs of the grave because we want to talk more about Yawm al Qiyamah. But as for the affairs of the grave in brief, the believer's grave will be made spacious. They will smell a fragrance from the fragrance of paradise. And its fragrance can be smelt, even though the fragrance can be smelt for a distance of 40 years. They will smell that fragrance from the fragrance of paradise. They will see a person come towards them. They will say, who are you? And he will be in, uh, looking good and in good appearance. They will say, who are you? He says, Ana amaluka salih. I'm your righteous deeds. So the person strives for good deeds because he wants to be addressed as well by someone who is looking in a good appearance. And they will come towards them and they will say, Ana amaluka salih. A window or an opening will be made for that individual who is righteous, opening of, of the hellfire, and it will be said, This is where you would have gone if you didn't obey Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, if you didn't yani, follow the guidance. And a window or an opening will be made for the person of paradise, and, the, and it will be said to him, This is where you're abode will be and the person will say because he's righteous he says Ya Rabbi Aqim as oh our Lord establish the hour he can't wait to go to paradise it will be said to him sleep as the newlywed sleeps so this is the case of the righteous as for the hypocrite then and the disbelievers then the affair is not like that they will be hit in between their or on their foreheads with a hammer that 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 the animals can hear. That the animals can hear. They will hit between their heads with a hammer. And likewise, they will be in a pit of hellfire in their, in their graves. Allah mentioned about Al Fir'aun, the disbelievers, Fir'aun and his people, those who disbelieved and were arrogant. And Naru Yu'radun alayha wa ashiya. Fire will be brought to them morning and evening in their graves. And the Messenger Islam likewise passed by a group of gray or a number of graves, graves. And they were the graves of the disbelievers and he would say Bashir bin Nar that they have the glad tidings of the hellfire. This is where they are meaning in their graves is fire, in their graves is punishment. There are also punishments for Muslims who have fallen into major sins and didn't repent. From them, from those punishments, the man who or the two men who the Messenger Islam mentioned when he passed by two graves and he said, يعذبان, They are being punished. كبيرة, they are not being punished for a major sin. Then he paused. He said, بَلْ إِنَّهَا كَبِيرَةً Rather, it's a major sin. As for one of them, he used to tail carry between the people. Major sin. Tail carrying. Causing fitna. Causing problems between two people. And in one wording, Used to backbite between the people, a major sin. And as for the other one, Amal Akhar Fakana min Bowli, he didn't used to conceal himself whilst urinating. So here we have the two major sins mentioned. And there are other major sins, those who leave the prayer out of laziness. Likewise, it's a punishment for those who are neglectful of their prayers. Punishment for those who are neglectful of their of paying the zakah. Punishment for those 
نعم, who do not fulfill that which they are supposed to fulfill from the commandments of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And that is documented in the various narrations. As for once the, the, the person is raised up, the first of those who are raised up is the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. The first whom the graves or the, the, the ground will be split and opened will be for Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And then the rest of the people will be raised up and apportioned into groups. Here we will mention from Sheikh Zaid bin Hadi, Hafidhullah, from his explanation of Subul Sawiya and likewise his explanation of Ha'iyya. He mentions a number of benefits with regards or details with regards to the affair of the hereafter and especially Yom Al Qiyamah. He says here, Yom Tawafa Kulu Nafsin. بِكَسْبِهَا إِلَى يَوْمِ الْقِيَامَ الَّذِي تَكَرَّرَ ذِكْرُهُ فِي الْقُرْآنِ الْكَرِيمُ وَالسُنَّةِ النَّبُوِيَّةِ Here is mentioning about from the time the person is he dies and is given his recompense on the day of judgment based upon the lines of poetry that preceded ذَلِكَ الْيَوْمُ الَّذِي تَرْجَعُ فِيهِ الْخَلَائِقِ إِلَى اللَّهِ That is the day that the creation will return to Allah ثُمَّ تُوَفَّ كُلُّ نَفْسٍ مَا كَسَبَ Then every soul will have in full what it put forward. وَهُمْ لَا يُظْلَمُونَ And they will not be oppressed. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has made oppression for himself. Made oppression forbidden for himself, I meant to say. And that is when he, Azza wa Jal said, إِنِّي حَرَّمْتُ الظُّلْمَ عَلَى نَفْسِي وَجَعَلْتُ بَيْنَكُمْ مُحَرَّمَ فَلَا تَظَالَمُوا I have made oppression forbidden for myself. And I have made it forbidden between yourselves. So don't oppress one another. So Allah does not oppress. Allah commands with justice. And Allah ya'muru bil adli wal ihsan. And every person will have what they have put forward without oppression. Dalik al yawm, Sheikh Zayd continues. Allah alhamhu. He says, Dalik al yawm alladhi satakunu fihi al ahwal al muz'ijah. That is the day it will be very difficult and it will be muz'ij, be hard upon the person. Difficult upon the person. Shada'id, was shada'id al mudhila. The person that the, will not see this type of, type of Shada'id before. This is the first time he's seen this type of difficulty and hardship. He's bewildered. وَالْكُرُوبُ الْعِظَامُ الْبَالِغَةِ Much distress. Great, severe distress. البالغة. No words can actually describe. يَوْمُ الْعَظِيمُ تَدْهَلُوا فِيهِ كُلُّ مُرْضِعَةٍ عَمَّا أَرْضَعَتْ Even the, the mother sucking her baby will drop her baby, or no longer uh, continue to suckle her child. And every pregnant woman will bear her load. And you see people as though they are drunk, but they are not drunk. But the punishment of Allah is severe. وَيَقُولُ يَا لَيْتَنِ اتَّخَدْتُ مَعَ الرَّسُولِ سَبِيلًا On that day, the oppressor will bite upon his hands and he will say, Woe is me that I have taken a path other than the way of Rasulullah wasallam. And that verse, if you look at the verse before it, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala shows his authority. And he says, الْمُلْكُ يَوْمَ إِذِنْ الْمُلْكُ يَوْمَ إِذِنْ الْحَقُّ لِلْرَّحْمَانِ The dominion on that day, on Yawm Al-Qiyamah, in truth will be, will belong to ar rahman to the most merciful. وَكَانَ يَوْمًا عَلَى الْكَافِرِينَ عَزِيرًا And that day will be difficult upon the disbelievers. يَوْمَ يَعَضُّ وَيَوْمَ يَعَضُّ الظَّالِمُ عَلَى يَدَيْهِ يَقُولُ يَا لَيْتِنِ اتَّخَدْتُ مَعَ الرَّسُولِ سَبِيلًا On that day the oppressor will bite upon his hands and he say, Woe is me that I have taken a path other than the way of Rasulullah صلى الله عليه وسلم. يَا وَيْلَتَ لَيْتَنِ لَمْ أَتَّخِذْ فُلَانًا خَلِيلًا would that I had not taken so and so as a friend. And this is for us to have good companions. Not those who will lead us to the hellfire. But the companions who remind us of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, remind us of the akhirah. For will akhirah to khayru abqa, for indeed the hereafter is better and everlasting. Yawbatan fatru fihi sama. On that day the, the skies above us will split, will split and be divided. وَتُكَوِّرُ الشَّمْسِ And the sun will be rounded. وَتَنْكَدِرُ النُّجُومِ And then the stars will fall. 
الجبال وتحشر الوحوش and likewise the mountains will pass away and fall or will be crumbled and the animals will be gathered وتسجر البحار and the oceans will overflow and boil over يوم يوم يصدر فيه الناس أشتاتا that day the men or the people will be gathered in groups given their reckoning ليروا أعمالهم that they may see their actions فمن يعمل مثقال ذرة خيرا يراه ومن يعمل مثقال ذرة شرا يراه so whoever does a good deed he will see it and whoever does an evil deed he will see it يوم يحشر فيه المتقون إلى الرحمن وثدا and for the pious and the believers those who fulfill the commandments of Allah they kept their prayers they fulfilled their pillars the pillars the five pillars and they believed in Allah correctly and, his, and the rest of the six beliefs they believed in Allah and his angels and his messengers and the books and the last day in the pre-decree good and bad they believe in those correctly they have iman and they have amal salih for those Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala yahshuru fihi yawmun yahshuru fihi al-muttaqoon wa yahshuru fihi al-muttaqoon ir-rahmani wafda they will be gathered by Rahman, by the Most Merciful, in honorable delegations. So they will be in high esteem. They will look down at those that used to laugh at them. The disbelievers or the hypocrites, those who used to laugh in this dunya, they used to laugh and joke at the believers. Look at them, they're the Ardalun, they're the lowest of people. Look at these Muslims. They're the Ardalun. And they would laugh at them, look at them. But on that day, you will be, inshallah, you will have the last laugh. عَلَى الْأَرَائِكِ يَنْظُرُونَ تَعْرِفُوا فِي وُجُوهِمْ نَظْرَةَ النَّعِيمِ يُسْقَوْنَ مِنْ رَحِيقٍ مَخْتُومِ خِتَامُهُ مِسْكِ وَفِي ذَلِكَ فَلْيَتَنَافَسِ الْمُتَنَافِسُونَ The believers, they're the ones who will have the last laugh. They will be in high stations, looking at those, down at those who used to laugh at them and used to wink at each other. يعني, look at these Muslims. يتغامزون وإذا مروا بهم يتفاكد. وَإِذَا مَرُّوا بِهِمْ يَتَغَامَزُونَ وَإِذَا انقلبوا إِلَىٰ أَهْلِ مُنْقَلَبُوا فَكِهِينَ وَإِذَا رَأَوْهُمْ قَالُوا إِنَّ هَاؤُلَىٰ لَضَالُّونَ They used to say that these are, these are the misguided ones, the believers, the Muslims. They are the misguided ones. But in the end, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will raise the believers. In the end, on Yawm Al-Qiyamah, Allah will raise the believers in high stations, looking down at those who used to oppress them. وَيُسَاقُوا الْمُجْرِمُونَ إِلَىٰ جَهَنَّمِ وِرْدَ And the evil doers they will be driven towards the hellfire in a thirsty state. لا يملكون الشفاعة إلا من اتخذ عند الرحمن عهدا. No one will be able to have the authority of having شفاعة of intercession. They will not be able to intercede. They will not be able to ask for intercession except those who already have a promise with Allah سبحانه وتعالى. يوم تنصف فيه الجبال نصفا. فتكون قاعا صف صفا. On that day, the mountains will disintegrate and crumble, and they will be leveled with the ground. لا ترى فيها عوجا ولا أمتا. You will not see any crookedness, nor any unevenness on the ground. Will be leveled. The mountains will turn to wool, or will seem like they will turn to wool, and they will be leveled. يوم عيد يتبعون الداعي لا عوج له. On that day, they will follow the caller that will call them. And no one will deviate away from that call. People will go towards that call. And will be sorted out into categories. وَخَشَعَتِ الْأَصْوَاتُ لِلْرَّحْمَانِ فَلَا تَسْمَعْ إِلَّا هَمْسَ And the, the voices of people will be humbled to a Rahman. And you'll not be able to hear except the voice or the sounds of the footsteps of the people as they're walking. That's the only thing you will hear. وَخَشَعَتِ الْأَصْوَاتُ Not only the aswat will be upon khushu' but also the gaze will be sharp and will be then يعني, will be humbled even their gazes will be humbled يَوْمَ يُحْشَرُ فِيهِ الْمُعْرِدِ عَنِ الذِّكْرِ the one who turned away from the remembrance of Allah he will be gathered as a blind person أَعْمَى فَيَقُولُ رَبِّ لِمَا حَشَرْتِنِي أَعْمَى وَقَدْ كُنْتُ بَصِيرًا he will say oh my lord why have you raised me up Blind, while I used to see, I used to see in the dunya. Why is it now I'm blind? قال كذلك أتتك آياتنا فنسيتها وكذلك اليوم تنسى. So such is so, the signs have come to you, but you turned away from it, 
and likewise this day you will be left yourself you will be left you will be left on this day because you turned away from the dhikr of Allah and we are commanded to remember Allah morning and evening udhkur and much udhkur Allah dhikran kathira remember Allah much and Allah praise the dhakirin those who remember Allah much وَالذَّاكِرِينَ Allah وَالذَّاكِرِينَ Allah كَثِيرًا وَالذَّاكِرَاتِ أَعَدَّ اللَّهُ لَهُمْ مَغْفِرَةً وَأَجْرًا عَظِيمًا Allah has prepared for them forgiveness and a great reward. Remembering Allah much. لَا يَزَالُ لِسَانُكَ رَبًّا بِذِكْرِ اللَّهِ Make your, your tongue moist with the dhikr of Allah. As you wake up, when you sleep, in your everyday as you're walking out the house, as you go in the form of transport, as you're traveling from one place to another, don't remember, don't forget the dhikr of Allah. Remember the adhkar of the morning and evening, the adhkar that are set, and inshallah you will be from the dhakirin. The dhakirin Allah kathiran wa dhakirat. Male and female, both have been mentioned as give, been given forgiveness from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and likewise having a great reward. So don't forget Allah. Otherwise, you will be left to yourself. For indeed, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions Surah Al Hashar. Ya ayuha al ladina amna taqullaha wa tandur nafsu ma qaddamat li ghadim wa taqullaha. Inna Allah khabirun bima ta'amalun. Oh, you believe, fear Allah. And let every soul prepare for the next day. Fear Allah, for Allah knows all that you do. Wa la takunu ka ladina nasullaha fa ansahum anfusahum ulaika humul fasiqun. Don't be of those who forget Allah. For indeed Allah made them forget their own selves. And they are the sinful ones. So don't be of those who forget Allah such that you come on Yom Al-Qiyamah blind. And say, لِمَا حَشَرْتَنِي أَعْمَى وَقَدْ كُنْتُ بَصِيرًا صلى الله عليه وسلم يوم عصيب The day of judgment. 50,000 years. It's difficult. And it's hard. تُنْصَبُ فِيهِ الْمَوَازِينَ The scales will be will be put forward لِوَزْنِ الْأَعْمَالِ to to uh, to for each and every action that we have done will be weighed to weigh the actions of the people to weigh the people and likewise to weigh the scrolls three things will be weighed as some of the scholars mentioned as Sheikh Zaid himself mentions and he says that is the قول الراجح that is the strongest position of opinion is that three Things will be weighed. You will be weighed. And the Messenger of Allah mentioned that it may be a person who is large, but he will only weigh the wing of a mosquito because he didn't have many good deeds. And look at Ibn Mas'ud, the narration where the Sahaba, when they had seen him, because it was windy that day, they had seen him being blown away by the wind or moved to, with the wind and uh, the Prophet said you laugh at, 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 at his shins his shins on or you laugh at the situation his shins on the, the scales will be heavier than Uhud will be heavier than Uhud so it's not necessarily that you are uh, uh, large to weigh heavy on your al Qiyamah no you could be a thin person in this dunya but your actions are heavy it's to do with your actions and it's to do what you have put forward in this life. وفي ذلك فليتنافس المتنافسون. So Ibn Mas'ud رضي عنه said his shins will weigh heavier than Uhud on the scales. And these are the scales that will be so precise. مثقال ضرة يعني the smallest thing you can think of, think of like an ant. The size of an ant of a deed. The size of ants of a deed. Some translators they say atoms weight. But at the time of the messenger side, the Sahaba anum, what was understood to them is the smallest thing that they could see that was apparent. Like an ant of a deed. You will see it then. Whether it's good or whether it's bad. Everyone will be dealt justly what they have put forward. So use your time, whatever is left of your time, to increase in deeds. Keep up your salawat al-khams, your five daily prayers. Strive to pray in the jama'ah, to be in the masjid. For this is khair upon khair. There's more reward that you pray in the jama'ah than you pray 
on your own. And likewise, strive to be charitable, not just with your wealth, but also with yourself and your time, helping others. Be of those who rush to do good deeds, rush to seek forgiveness from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We're all human. We all make mistakes. But the best of those who make mistakes are those who turn into repentance. So when the scales are brought forward, Allah mentions about that, He says, Well, was no yawma idin il haq? That the scales or the balance in the weighing is actually truth, it's actually reality. So whoever's scales are heavy, they, are the, they will be the successful ones. وَمَنْ خَفَّتْ مَوَازِينُهُ فَأُولَئِكَ الَّذِينَ خَسِرُوا أَنفُسَهُمْ بِمَا كَانُوا يو, يو, بِآيَاتِنَا يَظْلِمُونَ And as for those whose scales are light, then they are the ones who have lost their own selves. Eh Allah. That Allah is the greatest loss. Allah says, إِنَّ الْخَاسِرُ إِنَّ الْخَاسِرُونَ الَّذِينَ خَسِرُوا أَنفُسَهُمْ وَأَهْلِهِمْ يَوْمَ الْقِيَامَةِ ذَلِكَ هُوَ الْخُسْرَانُ الْمُبِينَ The true loss is the one who loses himself and his family members on the day of judgment. That is the the severe loss. Eh Allah. That is the real loss. Not whether you lost a child, not whether you lost money, wealth, or lost any affair of the dunya relative. You lost the akhirah. Yes, the, that's the most, that's the severest of loss. Because there's no receipt. In this, in this life you have exams, you receipt, you have receipts. In the akhirah there's no receipt. It's, that's it. You can't ask and you can't be brought back even if you ask. Even if you ask, you can't be brought back to the life to do good deeds. And to be better. And the greatest regret will be the akhirah. Even for the believers, they will feel regret that they didn't do more. They didn't do more dhikr. And it's easy to do dhikr. To say, subhanallah, alhamdulillah, la ilallah, Allahu akbar. With an attentive heart. And Allah mentioned, وَنَضَعُ الْمَوَازِينَ الْقِسْتِ لِيَوْمِ الْقِيَامَةِ فَلَا تُدْلَمُ نَفْسٌ شَيْئًا And we put forward the scales on the day of judgment with al-qist, yani with justice. For no soul will be left oppressed in the least. وَإِنْ كَانَ مِثْقَالَ حَبَّةٍ مِنْ خَرْدَلٍ أَتَيْنَ بِهَا وَكَفَى بِنَا حَاسِبِينَ And if it is a mustard seed of a deed, a mustard seed of a deed, we will bring it out and we are sufficient to be, to, to call the people to account. Yani we, we are sufficient. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, no doubt, He is, kafa billahi shaheedah, sufficient as a witness over all that we have done in this, in this life. So this yawm al-qiyamah will be yawm al-asir, a difficult day, ala al-kafirin ghayra yaseer, upon the disbelievers, not easy. Yafirru fihi al-mar'u min akhi, a man will flee from his brother, وأمه وأبيه and his mother and his father وصاحبته وبنيه and flee from his spouse and his child لكل امرئ منهم يوم إذن شأن يغنيه every soul is concerned with what they have brought forward and Sheikh Abdul Aziz bin Baz رحمه الله on this verse he says what, he asks the question why is it that the person will flee from those most close to them these verses from Surah Al-Abasa why will a person flee from his brother, his father, his mother, his children? Why? And he, Rahimullah, mentioned because these members of the family have more right to your rights. More right to your good. More right to your right yani, that you are supposed to put forward in fulfilling their rights. So everyone is scared that the other one will call, will ask about their rights, that they were not fulfilled. So the child is fearful that the parents will call them to account for rights that they haven't fulfilled. The father, the mother will do the same for the rights of each and every one of the relatives. They're fearful, so they will flee from each other. Those close to you, those that will be loving to you, on that day, everyone's worried for themselves. Everyone concerned about what they have put forward. So <laughs> Luqman, on that day, no father can avail his child. Nor a child can avail his parent in the least. Yawmun Azim, a great day or severe day. Yaqumun nasu fihi li Rabbil Alameen. 
mankind will be brought forward to the Lord of all of creation. And your Lord will come. Ja'a Rabbuka. Wal malaku saffan saffa. Your Lord will come and the angels will come in rows. The angels will bring forward the hellfire which is brought with 70,000 reins, ropes. And each of those ropes or reins will be brought forward by 70,000 angels. وَبُرِّزَتِ الْجَحِيمِ And it will become, become apparent to the eyes. People will see the hellfire. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. يَوْمٌ لَا تَقْبَلُ فِيهِ الْفِدِيَةِ مِمَّنْ يُرِيدُ أَنْ يَفْتَدِي On that day, no ransom will be accepted for whoever wants to seek to give ransom to be saved. إِنَّ الَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا لَوْ أَنَّ لَهُمْ مَا فِي الْأَرْضِ جَمِيعًا وَمِثْلَهُ مَعَهُ لِيَفْتَدُوا بِهِ مِنْ عَذَابِ يَوْمِ الْقِيَامَةِ مَا تُقُبِّلَ مِنْهُمْ وَلَهُمْ عَذَابٌ أَلِيمٌ Indeed, the disbelievers, even if they have whatever's in the earth, and that which is similar to it, as a ransom, that they may give as a ransom from the punishment on the Day of Judgment, it will not be accepted from them, and they will have a grievous punishment. وَالَّذِينَ لَمْ يَسْتَجِيبُوا لَهُ Those who don't answer the call of Allah, لَوْ أَنَّ لَهُمْ مَا فِي الْأَرْضِ جَمِيعًا Whatever they have in the earth, and that which is similar to it, لَفْتَدَوْ بِهِ They would have sought to put it as ransom for the, from the punishment of Allah. وَلَيْكَ لَهُمْ سُوءُ الْحِسَابِ they are the ones who will have an evil accountability or reckoning. وَمَأْوَاهُمْ جَهَنَّمْ And the end result and the bowl will be the hellfire. وَبِئْسَ mihad. What an evil place that is. يُبَصَّرُونَهُمْ In Surah Al-Ma'arij. يُبَصَّرُونَهُمْ يَوَدُّ الْمُجْرِمُ لَوْ يَبْتَدِي مِنْ عَذَابِ يَوْمِ إِذِينَ بِبَنِيهِ Yes, they will be made to see their family members. As is mentioned in, one, in some of the tafasir. They shall be made to see one another. So they will see one another. You will see your parents. You will see your relatives. You will see your children. Your brothers and your sisters. They will make to see them. But neither will be able to speak to them and ask for help. No one will be able to do that. Everyone is worried for themselves. You basarunahum. Allah will make them to see each other. يَوَدُّ الْمُجْرِمُ لَوْ يَفْتَدِي مِنْ عَذَابِ يَوْمِ إِذِينَ بِبَنِيهِ And the evil doer would wish to ransom from the punishment of Allah even his own children. وَصَاحِبَتِهِ وَأَخِيهِ And his companion and his brother. وَفَصِيلَتِهِ لَتِي تُؤْوِيهِ And even ransom those who used to show to him from his family members or or his tribe as Mujahid said. وَمَنْ فِي الْأَرْضِ جَمِيعًا تُمَّ يُنْجِيهِ and whatever is upon the earth, he would like to put as ransom to be saved from this serious day. يَوْمَ يُبْعَثُ مَا فِي الْقُبُورِ يُبْعَثُ مَا فِي الْقُبُورِ On that day, whatever is in the earth will be brought out. وَيَحْصُلُ مَا فِي الصُّدُورِ And whatever is in the chest will be brought out. Everything will be made clear. يَوْمَ تُبْرَ السَّرَائِرِ فَمَا لَهُ مِنْ قُوَّةٍ وَلَا نَاصِرِ On that day, the secrets will become known. And there will not be anyone to help you with authority, nor will there be any, nor will there be any helper, no victor, no helper. يوم يجمع الله فيه الأولين والآخرين في صعيد واحد. Allah on that day will bring forward the first and the last of the people upon one plane. حفاتا عراتا غرلا. They will be barefooted, naked, and there will be. Uncircumcised, and likewise in another narration, Buhma, they will be without any possession, without any, any possession that they had in this life. Buhma, without anything basically. Yanfaduhul Basar, we usmi'uhum al-da'i, absaruhum shakhisatun, ila samai qaddanat al-shamsu min ru'usihim qadra meel or meelain. As the sun comes close to them, the distance of a mile or two miles, the people's gaze will be sharp and likewise they will be sweating al al araq some of the sweat will reach their knees some to their waist some will be engulfed in their sweat وشتد بهم الكرب and likewise difficulty will become more and more distressful upon the person 
وَيَنْزِلُ الرَّبُّ تَعَالَ لِفَصْلِ الْقَضَاءِ And your Lord will come down to judge between the people. And no doubt those will be, who will be saved from that difficulty, those who will be under the shade, from the shade that Allah creates on Yawm Al-Qiyamah, the shade of the Arsh. And that is referring to those seven. سَبْعَةٌ يُظِلُّهُمُ اللَّهُ فِي ظِلِّهِ يَوْمَ لَا ظِلَّ إِلَّا ظِلُّهُ Seven will be under the shade that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala creates on the Day of Judgment. There will be no shade except that shade that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala creates. And He said His shade as an honor. That, that honor is an honorable shade. Shade that will shade the people away from this difficulty of the sun coming close to the people. The difficulty of the sweat that the people will be sweating, engulfed in their sweat. That shade for these seven categories of people. And from them, Rajulun. قَلْبُهُ مُعَلَّقٌ بِالْمَسَاجِدِ The man whose heart is inclined to the masjid. From them is the one who cried, رَجُلٌ بَكَ مِنْ خَشْيَةِ اللَّهِ He cried out of the fear of Allah. رَجُلًا اِلْتَقَى لِمَحَبَّةِ اللَّهِ وَتَرَقْ عَلَى ذَلِكْ Two men they met, or two women they met upon the love of Allah and they departed upon the love of Allah. So they love each other for Allah's sake, not for dunya means. And likewise the man who gave with his right hand concealed what he gave with his right hand that even his left hand didn't know. The Imam Al-Adil, the just ruler who will come and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will place them under that shade. That shade such that they are not harmed. Likewise, the shad, the youth, Nasha'a fi ta'atillah, who is upon, as, as a young child, as he's growing up, he's upon the obedience to Allah. So glad tidings for those who are young and upon the obedience to Allah. Glad tidings for those who are young and they're striving to do their best. Yes, those who haven't reached even 15 years old and they're keeping up their salah. They haven't reached 10 years old but they have reached, they are keeping up their salah. You've been commanded to pray at 10, sahih, command pray at 7 and discipline at 10. But if you continue inshallah and you have good friends and you continue as a child growing up learning the Quran and you're righteous and dutiful to your parents and you're kind to your brothers and sisters and you say a good word to the people, وَقُولِ husna, And you're not filthy with your tongue, and you, stri- and you strive, even as a young boy or young girl, and you're growing up, glad tidings to you, Allah. And glad tidings to the parents, who have taught their children. Glad tidings to the parents, who have given their children time, and have taken them out to, be, to spend quality time with them. Glad tidings to them, Allah, that they have taught them the Quran. For Yawm Al-Qiyamah, you will, inshallah, be given a crown to wear. And you think, where has this crown come from? And it's because your child has memorized the Qur'an. Your child has done, it, has done that which is good. In memorizing and understanding, inshallah, that which is beneficial for them. So that tidings to the parents who spend their time looking after their children. Al-Aqrabuna awlan ma'roof. The Prophet said, those who are close to you have more right to your good. So it is difficult to understand how a person can be good to other people to his friends, take them out for a meal, take them here, take them there, spend on them, and his, and his family doesn't spend on them. How is, that, how is that? Opposite to what he's supposed to do. Glad tidings for the one who looks after his family, family members. It is enough sin for a person, he discards those under his responsibility. His wife and his children, or the wife does not fulfill the rights of her husband and her children. Not fulfilling that which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has placed upon you. So look to what you have to put forward. Each and every one of us must look at ourselves. What have we done? For ourselves, our families, those who have more right to us, our mothers, our mothers, our mothers, than our fathers. What have we done for them? In spending, in aiding them, in looking after them. Hey Wallah, this is what will help us. First and foremost, in our graves and in the akhirah, from this difficult day. But as for the one who has his book of record in his right hand, then he will be given an easy reckoning. And he will turn to his family happy. And as for the one who is given his book behind his back, فَسَوْفَ يَدْعُ ثُبُورَ وَيَسْلَ سَعِيرًا That is the person who will be saddened and in distress and distraught and likewise 
will be heading for the hellfire. And Allah called it Sa'ira because it burns. In this dunya he was happy, rejoicing in what? In amusement and in wasting time. But in the end, he will be the one who's, who will be upset with him himself or herself. He didn't think that he will be brought to account. Bala, inna rabbahu kana bihi basira. Rather, indeed, your Lord or his Lord was watching him. Naam. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he sees and he hears all that we see, all that we do and all that we say. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, as he mentioned, Surah Ghafir, فَسَتَذْكُرُونَ مَا أَقُولُ لَكُمْ وَأُفَوِّذُ أَمْرِ اللَّهِ إِنَّ اللَّهَ بَصِيرٌ بِالْعِبَادِ He is basir over all of his servants, over all of his worshippers, over all of the people, he is basir, subhanahu wa ta'ala, knowing that what we have done and what we have put forward in this life. فَأَمَّا مَنْ أُوْتِيَ كِتَابَهُ بِيَمِينِهِ فَيَقُولُ هَا أُمْ وَقْرَأُوْ كِتَابِيَهِ The one who's given his record in his right hand, he will rejoice and say, read, read my book. إِنِّي ضَنَنْتُ أَنِّي مُلَاقٍ حِسَابِيَهِ Indeed, I was certain that I will meet my accountability. فَهُوَ فِي عِيشَةٍ رَاضِيَةِ That is a person who will be having a good life, a happy life, رَاضِيَ A pleasing life. فِي جَنَّةٍ عَالِيَةِ In paradise high, above. قُطُوفُهَا دَانِيَةِ The fruits of it will be clear and near to grasp. كُلُوا وَشْرَبُوا هَنِيئًا بِمَا أَسْلَبْتُمْ فِي الْأَيَّامِ الْخَالِيَةِ So eat and drink with what you have put forward previously in those days that have passed by. وَأَمَّا مَنْ أُوْتِيَ كِتَابَهُ بِشِمَالِهِ And as for the one who gets his book of reckoning in his left hand, فَيَقُولُ يَا لَيْتَنِي لَمْ أُوْتَ كِتَابِيَ Woe is me, he will say, if I had only not given, been given my book of reckoning. وَلَمْ أَدْرِ مَا حِسَابِيَ If only I didn't know my accountability, my hisad, what I put forward. Ya laytaha kanat al qadiya. Woe, it will be the situation. If only, he will say, Woe is me if only it had, I had been destroyed or the affair had just ended there and then. Yani without being accountable for what I had put forward. Ma agna anni maliya. My wealth did not avail me. Halaka anni sultaniya. Nor will I have any authority on that day. Khalas. I can't do, now is my accountability and I've been brought forward to my reckoning. No authority will I have now to change the situation. You have a choice here to change the situation. <coughs> but over there, on the day of judgment, there's no choice. You will now be brought your accountability and your reckoning. <laughs> so take him and chain him. <laughs> then land him in the hellfire to burn. And chain him in 70 cubits of chains. <coughs> and fetter him in the Azim. For indeed he didn't believe in Allah, the Almighty. Notice he mentioned belief first and foremost. Believing in Allah correctly. Aqidah comes first if we only knew. Be certain that we're going to meet our Lord. There's no doubt about it. The believer who reads the Qur'an, he knows there's no doubt about it. Because he sees the authority of Allah. He reads the authority of Allah. He knows that this is from Allah. He knows this is the haqq. If this Qur'an was revealed on a mountain, the mountain will crumble for the fear of Allah. You would see it humbled, crumble for the fear of Allah. And likewise, this individual, not only he didn't believe in Allah, وَلَا يَحُدُّ عَلَى طَعَامِ الْمِسْكِينَ Nor did he concern himself with the feeding the poor, even with, subhanAllah, even with the smallest of things, feeding the poor. So the person should look at himself. How is he with the poor people? How is he? The Prophet ﷺ mentioned in a dua that, Oh Allah, make us of those who love the poor. In, in helping them. In looking after the needy. Poor in terms of the, they don't have shelter. Or they don't have food to eat for the day. They masakin as well as, as well as fuqara. So what do we do for them? We strive to look out for them. Because indeed, indeed that is one of the reasons for the people on the judgment to be given their book in their left hand. That they didn't, not only didn't believe in Allah, 
correctly or didn't believe in Allah, they didn't also feed the poor. And likewise, in the other verse, وَكَانُوا يَخُدُوا مَعَ الْخَائِذِينَ They used to be with the evil people. Because in the other verse, Allah mentions, when the angels asked the people entering the hellfire, لِمَا سَلَكَكُمْ فِي السَّقَرْ What made you enter the hellfire? قَالُوا لَمْ نَكُنْ مِنَ الْمُصَلِّينَ They said, we were not of those who prayed. وَلَمْ نَكُنْ نُطْعِمُ الْمُسْكِينَ No, we were of those who used to feed the poor. وَكُنْ نَخُدُوا مَعَ الْخَائِذِينَ And we used to hang around with the bad people. We used to hang around and be with the bad people. وَكُنَّا نُكَذِّبُ بِيَوْمِ الدِّينَ And we used to deny the day of judgment. وَكُنَّا نُكَذِّبُ بِيَوْمِ الدِّينَ حَتَّى أَتَانَ الْيَقِينَ Until death reaches, uh, reached us. Because death is that certainty which will reach each and every one of us. So this book of record will come to each and every one of us. We ask Allah that it is on our right hand. If you look in Surah, surah Kaf, likewise Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions that this book of record does not leave anything out. لا يغادر صغيرة ولا كبيرة إلا أحصاها ووجد ما عملوا حاضرة ولا يظلم ربك أحدا Everything is there. Every small deed and every big deed is mentioned or is written in the book. So may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us of those who, whose book is received to, on, uh, to us by our right hands. وكل إنسان أنزمناه طائرة طائره في عنقه ونخرج له يوم القيامة كتابا يلقاه منشورا اقرأ كتابك كفى بنفسك اليوم عليك حسيبا on that day we have fasten we will fasten for every person their deeds around their neck here if you read the tafsir of this from Sheikh Saad and others the deeds this is the justice of Allah the justice of Allah that He will not put somebody else's deed around your neck. He will put your deeds around your neck. He will not put your deeds around somebody else's neck. Everyone's deeds is put around his own neck. وَكُلَّ إِنسَانٍ أَلْزَمْنَاهُ طَائِرَهُ فِي عُنُقِهِ وَنُخْرِجُ لَهُ يَوْمَ الْقِيَامَةِ كِتَابًا يَلْقَاهُ مَنْشُورًا A book that will be given to him wide open. اقرأ كتابك Read your book of records. كَفَى بِنَفْسِكَ الْيَوْمَ عَلَيْكَ حَسِيبًا Sufficient is yourself. As a proof, as a witness against yourself or for yourself. يوم تجد كل كل نفس ما عملت. On that day, يوم تجد كل نفس ما عملت من خير محضرة. Every soul will see what they have done presented in front of them. وما عملت من سوء تود لو أن بينها وبينه أمدا بعيدا. And every evil that the person has done will be also presented in front of them. And the person will wish that between them and their bad deeds will be a vast distance far away. And that day, there will be no benefit for the person to, to lie, to say that I didn't do, or to bring an excuse, or to argue. يَوْمَ يَأْتِي كُلُّ نَفْسٍ تُجَادِلُ عَنْ نَفْسِهَا And Allah mentioned يَوْمَ يُحْشَرُ أَعْدَاءُ اللَّهِ إِلَى النَّارِ فَهُمْ يُزَعُونَ حَتَّى إِذَا مَا جَاءُوهَا شَهِدَ عَلَيْهِمْ سَمْعُهُمْ وَأَبْصَارُهُمْ This is the reality. Because even if they were to argue about themselves and for themselves incorrectly, then their hands, their hearing, their sight, their skins, and the other verses mention their hands, they will bear witness بِمَا كَانُوا يَعْمَلُونَ in that which they have put forward. وَقَالُوا لِجُلُورِهِمْ لِمَا شَهِدْتُمْ عَلَيْنَا And they will say to their skins, Why have you borne witness against us? Why did you bear witness against us? قَالُوا أَنْطَقَنَا اللَّهُ الَّذِي أَنْطَقَ كُلَّ شَيْءٍ وَهُوَ خَلَقَكُمْ وَهُوَ خَلَقَكُمْ أَوَّلَ مَرَّةٍ وَإِلَيْهِ تُرْجَعُونَ Allah subhanahu is the one who gave, gave us the ability to speak, the one who gave everything the ability to speak based upon his great wisdom, وَهُوَ خَلَقَكُمْ أَوَّلَ مَرَّةً He's the one who created you in the first instance, and to him you will return. So in the, in the end, the records will be given. And likewise, from the accounts, from the affairs of the Akhirah, is that each and every one of us will have to go over the Sirat, مَا مِنْكُمْ إِلَّا 
There isn't any one of you except that he has to pass over it. Meaning the bridge, which is the sirat, sharper than a, a sword and finer than a hair. And the people will pass by it according to their deeds. If some will pass by it swiftly, some will pass by it and being delayed based upon what they themselves have put forward, and they're going slowly. And some will be grabbed by the hooks and enter the hellfire. Because it, this bridge is over the hellfire. So this is serious. That we have to, each and every one has to pass by it. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make it easy for us to pass by it quickly to get to the other side. Because on the other side, then that will be, inshallah, for those who will enter paradise. However, even at that time, even if you pass by it, if you have wronged someone in this life, then those who have wronged each other, have oppressed each other, have, fo- have taken the rights of others, then before they enter paradise, they will have to be given they will have to be judged and malice will be taken out of each other's hearts thereafter as the messenger وسلم, mentioned about the muflis you know who the muflis is it's not the one who has no dinars, no dirhams but the muflis, the wretched one is he who will come on the day of judgment he had harmed this one with his hands he has insulted this one with his tongue and he has taken the wealth of such and such one now he is the muflis because Yom Al-Qiyamah you've taken that right of somebody it will be taken back from you either by your good deeds given to them or your or that person's bad deeds will be given to you for your bad deeds to be heavier and heavier and heavier because you have wronged someone in this life so each and every one of us if we've harmed anyone give back the rights of those you have harmed and that is your form of tawbah you repent to Allah by giving back the rights of those you have oppressed. Yom Al-Qiyamah is a serious event, serious day that is going to happen. 50,000 years long. And for the believers it will be easier. On that day, people will be sorted out into groups. And likewise, will be judged according to what they have put forward. On that day, the believers likewise will seek Intercession from the Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam The greatest intercession Shafa'atul Udma People will go to different prophets They go to Adam والسلام, And they will go to Ibrahim والسلام, And so on and so on They will get to Nuh والسلام. Each one will say <coughs> Each one will say It's not for me They remember what they had done in the past And they will say it's not for me And, they will say, and also not only that They will know that they, each and every one of them Was given a dua And they've already used that dua the Prophet ﷺ, he will say, Ana laha, ana laha. It is for me, it is for me. And the believers will go to the message of Allah وسلم, and he will prostrate to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And thereafter, the message of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give intercession for those who are deserving of that. He will say, Ummati, Ummati. He will, rec- he will recognize them by the marks of wudu on their sides. So perfect your wudu. He will remember them or recognize them from the marks of wudu. He will say, Ummati, Ummati. And there are others whom he will say, Ummati, Ummati, and they will be rejected. And it will be said, you do not know what they have changed after me. So be warned of innovations. Be warned of turning away. For the person who turns away, he only harms himself. And the believers will be interceded for. And likewise, in the hadith in Bukhari, the hadith of Abi Sa'id al-Khudri, عنه, where the Prophet ﷺ mentioned, that the prophets or the prophet has interceded and the angels have interceded and the righteous have interceded because amongst the righteous yes they will intercede now like the children who, who will intercede for their the children who have memorized Quran the children are righteous they will intercede and the righteous person will intercede for 70 members of his family the shaheed will intercede for 70 members of his family. So these are the types of different intercessions that will be on Yom Al-Qiyamah. And then there will be the Shafa'at Al-Rahman. Or Baqi Shafa'at Al-Rahman. And he will intercede for those who have entered the hellfire that have a grain of faith. They have a grain of faith. And one narration, it mentions, لَمْ يَعْمَلُوا خَيْرٌ قَدْ They haven't done any good, de- they haven't done any de- uh, good deeds. And in Muslim Imam Ahmad, 
It mentions لم يعملوا خير قط إلا توحيد. That explains that they did do actions of goodness, and what was negated is the completeness of iman. They didn't do complete the completeness of actions or the completeness of iman referring to those actions. Rather, they did actions of iman, but they didn't fulfill all of those actions of iman that they should have fulfilled, and Allah subhanahu will take them out of the hellfire, and He will say shafa وبقي شفاعة الرحمن. So he will take, he will, uh, uh, take a qadda from the hellfire that haven't done these good uh, the, uh, these uh, uh, deeds, these good deeds, except that they were upon tawheed. And that is a good deed, of course. So the negation here that they haven't done any good deeds is not negating all of good deeds. Otherwise that would be like the murji'ah who say that actions don't actually affect iman. Rather actions do affect iman. Rather actions are from iman, as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala himself said. أُدْخُلُ الْجَنَّةِ بِمَا كُنْتُمْ تَعْمَلُونَ Enter the pa- enter paradise with what you used to do. So actions, we have to bring actions, we have to put actions forward of iman and of sincerity, and we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to forgive us our shortcomings, and He enters, it, enters us into paradise, and we concern ourselves with ourselves, and our families, first and foremost. For indeed, this life is short, and the akhirah is going to be khairun wa abqa, is going to be better, and everlasting. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to give us a good end and go, give us a good reckoning and good accountability. Subhanak Allah bihamdika ashadu la ilaha illa anta astaghfiruka wa atubu ilaik. Are there any corrections or any questions before we.